how bad is excessive alcohol use? So I'm going to give you guys a case study of a complicated patient who came into the hospital complaining of fatigue, weakness, dizziness, and yellowing of their skin. Upon obtaining the history, the patient has been drinking for many years, but she has gone on a binge and drinks about two bottles of wine per night for the past three weeks. So upon getting the labs, the patient's sodium level is 114. Their bilirubin is 11.7. Just for reference range, a normal sodium level is about 136 to 144. A normal bilirubin is about less than 1.2. To further complicate things, the patient has a bunch of other electrolyte abnormalities, such as their chloride level being low. They also have some potassium abnormalities. The patient also has an acute kidney injury, the GFR. Normal level is anything above 60. Their GFR is about 29. Patient's also anemic. Hemoglobin level is about 8.1. Platelet count is about 97. Patient also has coagulation issues with their INR elevated at 2.1. It's okay if you don't know what this means. It's all bad. Um, to further complicate things, they had swelling of their extremities just because the liver wasn't working and it's kind of hard to try and fix a fluid issue when you have such a low sodium level. In any case, we get an ultrasound of the liver. It shows that they have findings suggestive of hepatic fibrosis. We ended up getting an MRI of the liver and it shows that they have early findings of cirrhosis. Uh, patient eventually got diagnosed with alcoholic hepatitis. Obviously, no more alcohol. They now have to be on oral prednisolone for about 30 days or so. Uh, and then they are going to follow up in the outpatient setting. Um, before they got discharged, a lot of this stuff did get better. So, you know, not, not, there's not like a, a, a sad story here, but the point I'm trying to make is alcohol is terrible for you. Don't drink. Just don't drink. 